Human beings aren't the only social species on the planet. Some sea creatures, like this dolphin, are renowned for their playful personalities. Others, like this juvenile orca, are expert communicators and curious about the world around them. Then there's the beluga whale. They're actually famous for their intelligence and cheekiness. This episode is a kind of social special, a look at a few friendly exchanges between man and marine life, with a focus on playfulness, intelligence and curiosity. Maybe the old adage that dogs are our best friends isn't quite so clear cut. Welcome to Deep Blue Discovery. Coming up on this episode, what happens when you whistle at a killer whale? And before we start, if you do like our videos, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hammerfest, Norway. A Valdemir is a famous beluga whale. He's known for interacting with people in Hammerfest Bay, people like this kayaker, Joachim Larsen. But on this occasion, something genuinely special happened. As you watch on, you'll see Havaldemir take Joachim's GoPro, drop it to the bottom of the harbour, before swimming down to retrieve the camera to give it back to its human owner. It's as if Havaldemir is playing, and it's an amazing thing to see. Beluga intelligence is a well-studied phenomenon. They've even been dubbed the cleverest creatures on Earth. These animals have extraordinary emotional, cognitive and problem-solving capabilities and could even mimic human speech. It's a species I, for one, want to know a lot more about. Quebec, Canada. When a team of researchers spotted this beluga pod in the St. Lawrence River, they saw something that can only be described as heartwarming. You might not have noticed, but one of the animals in the pod isn't a beluga at all. It's a narwhal. They're obviously known for their unicorn-styled tusks, and this one appears to have been adopted by the belugas. It's not actually as surprising as it sounds, they're very close relatives, and while they differ in behaviour and certain physical characteristics, they are occasionally observed swimming together, and they can interbreed. Pico Island in the North Atlantic. When wildlife photographer Ollie Scoley came into contact with a juvenile killer whale, it turned out to be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. As you can hear, the young orca is communicating with the rest of the pod almost continuously and seems very curious about the humans in its territory. Young orcas often have playful personalities and interact with divers almost whenever they see them. Females, for example, have been documented observing humans from much further away than their male counterparts. Orcas never attack humans in the wild. And while the seas they live in can be treacherous for divers, swimming with them tends to be completely safe. Northern Norway. Evidence suggests orcas aren't just curious about humans, they also seem to enjoy interacting with us, sometimes anyway. When these two marine researchers heard a pod communicating beneath the waves, they started whistling themselves. As a result, the orcas put on a bit of a show.
the Maldives. Dolphins are one of the smartest animals in the world. They can solve problems, learn new skills and pass knowledge to younger dolphins. Their relationship with humans is also well documented, but I bet you've never seen one do what we're about to show you. The Turks and Caicos Islands. Decades ago, Jojo the dolphin was declared a national treasure, and watching this footage, it's easy to see why. He regularly interacts with divers and tourists, but he looks especially happy when he's swimming alongside someone on a subwings board. Jojo even has his own Instagram account, with far more followers than us. He deserves them. San Salvador Island, the Bahamas. Play forms a key part of a dolphin's social life, especially when they're young. In this case, a juvenile male is pretty excited by the bubbles coming out of a diver's breathing equipment. Dolphin play has been studied relatively extensively, and it's believed it helps them develop skills for later in life, as well as aiding them in building relationships within the pod. They've even been known to essentially invent new games and pass on what they've come up with to other dolphins. They are truly amazing intelligent creatures and divers are often just another vessel to have a bit of fun with. Durian Bay, Western Australia. Finally, sea lions are known as dogs of the sea. In fact, their order name literally means dog-like. Alex Kidd, the diver in this video, was supposed to be taking photos for a German diving magazine when the sea lion you can see switched into full-blown dog mode. Sea lions can be aggressive, for example, males can be territorial and not always pleasant during mating season. But the vast majority of the time, their encounters with humans are peaceful, even playful. This is again due to their intelligence. They can be taught to do a variety of things, sadly evidenced by their presence in circuses and by the US military's attempts to train them to assist their scuba teams. While it's clearly advisable to be cautious around them, Many swimmers and divers have unforgettably positive experience with sea lions. Alex Kidd was one of them. And just before we finish, here's a real dog playing with a dog of the sea. Because why not? Why certain sea creatures interact or play with humans is obviously a question only serious scientists can try and answer properly but we've tried to show you what we think is some pretty epic footage of what appears to be some of the most intelligent animals on Earth interacting with people in special ways. We hope you enjoyed this friendly episode of Deep Blue Discovery. We'll be back next week with more facts and footage from beneath the waves. <laughs>